Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick and you know it. We're in the beautiful outdoors. I am up at Keenanau Lodge on Kississing Lake, fishing lake trout, fall lake trout. That is the mission for the next three and a half days. Today's the first time I've ever fished this body of water on in open water. So I'm gonna take my time, find some areas, hopefully get into a couple. And obviously we're gonna go hard today, but we're really gonna go hard every other day, sun up to sundown, chasing lakers. I only have lake trout stuff in my boat. That's my primary focus is lake trout. And we have some gorgeous weather, almost too gorgeous, because lake trout in the fall do like colder weather. weather. Uh, a little bit cooler water temps right now we still have in this area we have 56 degree water temps we're really looking for that 52 to 54 somewhere in there for them to really kick off their their fall time fishing but we're going to make the most of it. we have to fish a bit deeper form we have the troll form we have the jig form we'll do whatever but we're on a lake trout mission right now of course the goal is trophy size lake trout but to be honest with you I just love catching them casting. Even if I can catch medium, small size lake trout, as long as it's casting, it's cool. Trolling, I want big ones, but casting, I'll catch anything. So this is where myself and a couple buddies will be staying. My couple buddies that are here, I'll introduce later into the video. They're actually do on a guided trip with Chris for a couple days. But here there's a dock, you can keep your boat out there and make it easy access. I believe we're in that cabin right there. So literally you can just come down in the morning, jump in the boat and go fishing. Keenan L Lodge awesome i can't help but think how good the pike fishing probably is here too part of me wants to go search for pike but we're just going to obviously focus on the whole lake trout thing ice fishing up here too is amazing they have all season accommodations summer fall and the winter catch some big lakers through the ice it's pretty awesome so give them a shout there's still i believe there's still some openings yet this year, depending on how late I get this video out, but usually you can fish these Lakers all the way into mid to end of October, so. I'm pumped, let's do it. Well, it's official. We we're gonna start casting. I basically just picked a shoreline, cause, uh, and a point I should say too. Our main focus is going to be shoreline, points, and any humps that we can find. I did use Google Earth and find a few places that look interesting. The lake trout are gonna be looking more primary, primarily for uh, basketball to softball sized rocks right now. Even pebbles are okay. Not as much the jagged rocks, but you can never go wrong with fishing a pile of shoreline on Kississing Lake from what I've been told. That if you just pick a shoreline and just start pounding. We are throwing bigger baits. 4D perch shad actually when I'm throwing and I have on there I have um, a tungsten bullet sinker I think that's a quarter ounce just to get it down a little bit more and so I can nose dive it and that's from my my good buddy Mac who I did a video with recently for pike fishing he gave me that kind of a hot tip for some of these baits how you can you can work them so let's start chucking and see what we can make happen this is like gorgeous out. I'm fishing in shorts, shorts, and it's literally like almost October. Well, it's been forecast and I haven't caught one. This isn't good. I'm just kidding. I know that this is gonna take a lot of casting, a lot of pounding. And if I wanted to troll, I probably would catch fish quicker and probably more too, especially right now with the water temps being up a little bit. They're 56, 56 and a half about two degrees warmer than I like. I just got whacked right there. Is this gonna be a lake trout or a pike? I have a feeling it's a pike. Yeah, it's a pike. Wrong species, wrong species. Had a nice fall right now. Just had my first lake trout fall though, probably a mid 30s, low 30s maybe. Look, look decent. Oh, oh, there we go. Son of a trout. I might try, I think, something a little bit smaller, maybe even come through that 
same area again with a smaller presentation right now. That's another nice fish, like a low 30s. Okay, I'm gonna go back through there. That area I had, I had three follows. One nice one, one medium one, and one smaller one. I'm gonna go and throw like a, a smaller paddle tail. I'm gonna throw a, um, an Acme um, tickle tail on a Kalen's Google Eye jig and maybe see if we can maybe either catch those fish or see if there's something else down there. But that little stretch definitely held a couple fish. So it's definitely worth going over again. Can I say definitely one more time? Definitely. I have a feeling we're gonna have all the rods out by the end of the day. There we go, there we go. Is it gonna be a laker? I think so, I don't think this is a pike. Well, swim bait going a little bit smaller, paid off maybe. I had one nice follow. This fish feels decent. Yeah, that's a laker. Target achieved. Lake trout did not take that long at all. Oh, drag's pretty tight. There we go, give you a little bit there, buddy. Not a giant. Not a small one. I think the other days I'm gonna bring my other net too. I got my big, big net with me just cause I want, if I catch a big laker, I want it to have lots of space in there. It's a big net for this little guy though. I guess he's not little though. He's little compared to what I'm hoping to catch sometime in this trip, but nice. First laker, should I just hand land you? I think we're just gonna hand land you there. If you get off, you get off. It's all good, it's all good. First lake trout on the board about a, 28 ish something like that nice fish looking for bigger but it's definitely a start awesome see you my friend whoa okay goodbye downsizing might have paid off a little bit 4.8 inch tickle tail with a half ounce kalen's swim bait google eye jig i'll show them off in greater detail here in a little bit even before maybe i switch lures again or something like that but we'll see if we can catch a couple more and uh yeah awesome feels good to put one in the boat it's been a while since i've caught a laker actually you know what it might be i haven't caught a laker since the winter yeah it's been the winter probably just like any other style of fishing you can go out with a plan but it's likely going to change on you pretty quick and i have a bunch of different lures all ready to go i've got small i've got big i've got a spoon i'm trying to think the only thing maybe i don't have going right now is like any type of bait presentation which i might do one of these days is some like bobber fishing like that with suckers or something but i'd rather be casting for them i don't think you want to be or need to be using bait at this time of the year obviously maybe you might have to if the conditions aren't right or something like that but I'd rather catch them with just all artificials if possible. Not that pitching out slip bobbers couldn't be some fun as well. So we'll see how the trip goes, but I've got a bunch of different presentations all rigged up, ready to go. Hopefully we catch some, some Lakers on everything. If we get a little bit of a cold spell, I feel like that's when those bigger baits will definitely kick in quite well. Well, let's go check out some more water. Definitely be coming back to this stretch a shoreline at some point. I think I had about five or six different follows. Saw two decent ones, caught one. Yeah, life's good. Definitely gonna be doing some trolling at some point. Nothing else, just to help me map areas out a bit more and can be such a good way to score Lakers when they're a little bit more cautious and following baits. Like when it's sunny like this, like this can be some of the toughest lake trout weather for at least casting them anyway. There we go. Nice. That fish rocked me. Lake trout. Yep. That's a laker. A little bit better. A little bit better. Amazing. Amazing. Try to tell him down here. Oh yeah. Strong. Strong fish. Strong, strong. Come on, buddy. Love this. I love lake trout. They're the best. Maybe throw this one in the net. He's still, he'd be a medium size net fish right here where are you going buddy gotta watch my trolling motors down strong fish strong fish 
That's a nice fish. That's nice. Not giant, but not small. Not giant, but not small. There we go. Yes. It's nice to have my net like just right here, ready to go. Deadly. Big head. Big old head. Uh, 32. 32 incher. But big head on him. I'm guessing it's a male. Beautiful fish. It was hooked in the top of the mouth. It's bleeding a little bit, but it wasn't in the gills at all, which is good. Lake trout bleed. There's no doubt about it. They're a uh, species of fish that bleed quite easily. Like you can be hooked in the top of the mouth, roof of the mouth, and they'll bleed. It doesn't even have to be in the gills. So deadly. What can I say? I'm having a blast. Here's a combination that's catching me a couple fish. Google swim bait jig. Google Eye swim bait jig, I should say. This is a half ounce. I like having a little bit heavier to just let it fall quick, pop it up, reel it, fall, etc. And this is a 4.8 inch tickle tail, Arkansas shad. It's not the best color match, but I wanted something just a little more vibrant head. The water is pretty stained. So I thought something with a little bit more color might work. And all I'm doing is just like I said, picking shoreline, points, islands, anything, and just Chucking and reeling, sinking it, reeling it, sinking it, reeling it, chucking it over and over. I've seen probably close to 10 leakers so far and caught two. Life's good. Okay, net's ready to go again. Even though it's a bit bigger net, it still is nice to have that fish just chilling there while you get everything ready. Can't have too big of a net for lake trout, really. Well, average size so far is pretty good. Not one I was letting it kind of fall when it hit it. It's good to kind of not just do a straight retrieve all the time with Lakers. Work it around a little bit. Not that a straight retrieve won't work sometimes too, but pretty sure both fish have kind of hit it when it's falling in. And they've thumped it too. Like it wasn't like a, all of a sudden there was weight. It was like a, I could feel the thud. Oh, there's one right there. It's had a little follow. I think what I'll do actually is I'm going to go up to this. And actually, no, I'm going to cast it first here and then I'm going to go up to the little shoreline here and actually show you the rocks that are really good for this time of year. I just had a small follow right there. Okay, I'm getting my hook that's got cut underneath a rock right here. And you could kind of see all of like these perfect rocks, right? And this kind of dips off into here a little bit into the, the deeper. This is what you're looking for right here. You got like a some basketball size, softball size, golf ball size even, but those, those round rocks is prime for fall lakers not so you're not going to catch them in uh, jagged rocks too but this is like money it's very tea stained water highly recommend good polarized sunglasses you're not going to be to cost the del mar lens i am not working with them in any aspect at all but i would never wear another fishing lens besides costa don't tell them that though, because I'm hoping that, you know, maybe I can work with them eventually. So don't tell them that I'm going to be wearing their lens no matter what, but I've been guiding for 18 years and you can't beat a Costa Del Mar lens. It might not be the most ideal weather for catching fish, but it's sure ideal weather for exploring and finding them. That's a fish. Oh, I thought that was a snag at first. You just ate it light. I think I got a good hook set though. I think I finished it off with a good hook set. I literally thought it was a snag. And all of a sudden I was like, no, it's coming with me. Crazy, okay. Fish three, finally had one that kind of ate it a little bit softer. Nice. Again, just another point. I've caught three fish in three different spots, not even close to each other. I'm really gathering that these fish are kind of all over. I've probably seen close to 25, 30 fish already. Some areas I've seen them just kind of stacked up on a little bit and they wouldn't eat anything. But it seems like staying in one spot for too long isn't the answer. Moving around is probably your best bet. Trolling would probably be the ultimate right now, to be honest. But I like catching them casting. I got a pretty strong drag on him right now. There he goes. I was gonna say, surprised it hasn't taken any line yet. I really thought that was the bottom. 
I'm glad I kind of finished with it and didn't just give up on it right away. Nice. Average size here is really good. I'm going to put them in the net. You know, it's a little bit too, too small for this net. Oh, I thought I'd be able to grab. Handling a net this size with one person is not the easiest thing in the world, but it can be done. It can be done. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Easy. Come here. There we go. Well, the one nice thing about the big net is it's pretty easy just to swim them in there. Beautiful fish. Dark. Wow, these fish are gorgeous. Quick measure. Beautiful. Again, 31 and a half. Average size is awesome. Beautiful, dark lake trout. Man, I love this time of year. So dark, so beautiful, so vibrant. We won't spend much time with you and we'll get you back, my friend. Beautiful fish. Lots of power. Lots of power. See ya. Well, so far, I'm loving this. There we go. That's awesome. That's my first fish that are very close to each other so I'm gonna lay a waypoint here this could be an obvious spot nice a little bit smaller but amazing telling down got a tight drag right now amazing just loving it we're not gonna net you this one's a little bit smaller but like I said that was my first first fish that are really close together here it's a pretty good one that's the smallest one right now like a 25 incher Since I'm only throwing a half ounce jig, I don't have a crazy heavy setup. This is just a Savage Gear Black Ops. I believe it's a medium heavy, yeah, medium heavy power. And it is seven sixth fast action. Nice for this jig. 300 Corrado, 30 pound braid, 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. It's maybe a little bit too heavy. I could be running probably a 15 something like that maybe ah, maybe even a 20 i don't want to go too light either but the fluorocarbon leader is um advanced suffix advanced fluorocarbon and then the line is 30 pound g core also made by suffix really smooth casting line it's not like i said it's not a heavy setup but you can't throw too heavy of a setup with a bait like this or You'll never get it out, right? But yet, it's a heavy enough rod to be able to lay into it a little bit and handle those little bit nicer, bigger fish if you need it. I don't know if I'd want to catch a 45-inch lake on here, but I'd be comfortable with like a 38, 40-inch lake trout on here. But I'm hoping once I can find some bigger ones, I can start to throw some bigger baits. But right now, for the most part, I feel like big baits just aren't going to cut it right now. Uh, who knows i could be completely wrong if i threw a big bait all day maybe i'd get lucky and come across one but i don't know if i was a fish right now and this was my weather i'd be just so docile right like this reminds me of being on the beach in mexico where you're just like oh i really don't feel like going there should we go to the pool yeah i wouldn't mind hitting the swim up bar let's just take our time getting over there maybe we'll stop and hit the lunch buffet on our way you know, whether it's like when it's like cold and cloudy and g gross out, you're like, you're moving quick, right? One place to the other faster. That's how I compare it anyway. I know it's a really weird analogy, analogy weird comparison, but that's what I would compare it to anyway. I do love me some lake trout fishing. If you came up here with a couple guys, it'd be so cool. You just pound shoreline, just like zing, 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 zing. You could cover so much water so quick. You definitely score. And of course, there's other options too of coming up here. Chris guides, and I believe if they have a bigger group, his father, Tim, will come up. Tim owned the lodge before Chris did, so Tim will come up and he'll guide with Chris, and they'll do some bigger groups like that. And that's a great option too. They catch a lot of nice trout throughout the whole year, not just right now. Even in the summertime, I was going through the Manitoba Master Angler in July is like lots of fish. 
Lots of nice lake trout. I was asking Chris's boy when I was launching my boat, like what's his favorite fish to fish for? And he said lake trout for sure. He said there's lots of big pike though. And he said, if you want to catch a lot of fish, he's like, the lake's loaded with walleye. So it'd be pretty cool to come here, catch some walleye for shore lunch, go lake trout fishing. I can't believe I've never been here in the summer before. This is just beautiful up here. Okay, let's go take a peek around some other spots. I went down that whole stretch of shoreline after I caught those last two fish and nothing. A couple snags, no other follows or anything though. Just gotta keep on looking. Well, I'm gonna throw the big bait again for a bit. And if I start to see more fish that are following or whatever, maybe I'll switch back. But I definitely do wanna spend some time chucking some bigger baits. Oh, there's a follow. Nice fish too. Had a nice fish follow. Okay, it's one. Oh, that's got whack. That was not the bottom. Sure, that was a fish. Oh yeah, right there, right there. I knew it. I knew that was a fish. Came back. Yes. Oh, I think this is my biggest one. Oh, I gotta get it back to the boat. Down, 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 down. Oh, I got it. I got it. Maybe go to the back of the boat. No, we're still okay. Unbelievable. I'm just gonna drift off here. I'm not even gonna spot lock. Hit me right at the boat. I thought I got whacked sooner. I really did. Oh, maybe it's, yeah, I think that's the biggest one of the day. Beautiful fish, dark colors. Wow, that was unreal the way it just smashed me right at the boat. Easy, buddy, easy, easy. Oh, beautiful fish. Yes. Biggest one of the day. The average size today has been amazing. 33 inch Laker, right there. Beautiful fish, hit me right at the boat. So good, so good. Oh, thank you, buddy, that was awesome. It was awesome. Nothing like a boat side smash, unbelievable. Still that same bait, just a different color head right now. I got snagged earlier and lost one and then bent the shank on another one and I decided just to try a different color because why not? The one I bent the shank on is because I was snagged. I think the one thing I like about these jigs more than anything is that super, super strong shank. I feel pretty confident once I get that hook in that fish's mouth that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to land it. Average size continues to be pretty deadly five fish three of them are between 32 and 33 inches gorgeous fish and all casting and i feel like it's it's gonna be even better than this if i was like had the right water temperature if i had a four degrees lower right now it'd be lights out i bet this is so deadly There we go, there we go. Oh, this one feels good, this one feels good. Big wide head shakes, I don't know for sure, but it felt good. It looked like it had big head shakes. Oh, it's staying down too. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. Amazing, amazing, stay down girl, stay down. I don't think it's much bigger, to be honest, or bigger at all. It's just vicious, yeah, it's not even as big. Oh, lake trout are the best. Remind me why I don't do more of this open water. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Such a pretty colored up fish too. Oh, these things are unreal. 
the best. All I'm doing literally is just pitching it out, reeling it slow, popping it a little bit. Sometimes you get snagged, but you can usually get it off pretty easy, pretty quick. And just kind of bringing it in pretty slow pace. These little swim baits seem to have a pretty good action on it, so it's awesome. Glowing, vibrant, unbelievable, all colored up. What a beautiful fish. Hammering them, the average size is amazing. It's another 30 inch Laker, so good. So good. There she goes. Keeping them out of the water, very, very minimal time. Cause this is likely their pre-spawn. They'll be spawning here eventually. So get them back in as quick as you can. I've seen no signs of eggs though or anything, which is a really good sign. Oh boy, oh boy. There's a log right there, I gotta stay away from it. Amazing. Oh, so good. Found a little honey hole here with a bunch of fish. There's a log right here, I'm trying to steer them away from it. This is three fish in short order. Probably about, I don't know, about 15 minutes, not even. And all within a little, uh, probably a hundred square yard area here. Awesome, that's a nice fish. This is a nice one. Oh, the average size continues to amaze me. I know it's only a matter of time before I feel like I'm gonna end up getting into a, a big one too, with it being this good of an average. Come on this side, buddy, so I can get a little better camera angle. There we go. I think I'm gonna net you. You're a nice fish. You're a nice fish. Telling down here. I don't like to wear them out too much. I wanna to try to net them still when they're semi-fresh just to make sure they have a lot of energy. There's no reason to fight these things for an hour. Oh, powerful fish. Powerful, powerful fish. Oh, I'm almost messed that up. My net's caught on my foot. How did I do that? Okay. I will try to make that look easier when I have a better fish on, but I, my net was caught on my foot. Quick measure. Oh, you're missing half your tail. You're on that 33 inch again. Big head though, like big head. These are, these are older fish for sure. They just don't all have the genetics to go real big because that's a solid bony headed fish right there. Okay, he's getting her strength back. There he goes, I think. For the most part today, they haven't come easy, but these last couple, I would say that was easy. Like after I found the first one, I caught the other two like literally out in the same area, just out in the middle. Those two I seen like were easy, right? Like there was a fish there, the first one, and there was a bunch of other fish obviously around that whole area. So those came easy. The other ones I've had to work pretty hard for, like fish here, fish there. There was one spot I guess where I had I had a, uh, two fish like bang bang in the same spot. But for the most part, I've had to work for them for sure. They haven't been eating the bigger bait. They've been following the bigger bait, but they haven't been eating it. So I think I'll go back to the smaller bait again, just cause that's what I have confidence in right now. Now it's gonna be one of those things about trying to gain confidence in something else as I go, because I've got a pile of confidence in that tickle tail obviously because I've caught a pile of fish on it, but now I have to like, when I'm in a hot area, kind of swap out once in a while and try to gain some confidence in some other baits. I think at some point in this trip, I'm gonna do a lot of trolling for a day, like a half a day of strong trolling, just to learn the body of water more. And I have a feeling if I pull a, a T60 around or a big line through something like that, I could probably connect with the mumbo, mumbo.
there we go. That's awesome. I actually saw a fish explode in there. So I threw a cast in there. <laughs> that is deadly. He was chasing bait up in the shallows. And I know there's bait up there because I just got snagged. And I went up there and I could see all the bait swimming there. So that's awesome. You got caught because I saw you splash, my friend. Very cool. I'm loving this whole lake trout casting thing. It's the best. It's the best. Just another beautiful specimen. It's fish eight and it's my GoPro say five and a half hours of fishing. Pretty good first day. There we go. Nice. Doesn't feel very big. Feels smaller. But you never know. You never know. Pretty sure it's just a smaller fish, although it's staying down right now. Could be swimming at me. Nah, I had a feeling it wasn't as big. I'm just very, very spoiled in terms of an average size right now, too. So that's just another one. I wonder if I can get the double digits today. That'd be awesome. Let's say I finally caught one that'd be good to eat, maybe. That'd be the first one I've caught today is probably actually a legal fish to keep. There we go. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Just continuing with my program. Nice and slow. As you can see, the sun's starting to set. This one feels decent. Probably the same as some of the other ones, that 33, 34. Oh, that's a nice fish. Beautiful. Like I said, continue with my same program, nice and slow. This camera's about to die. That's okay, I got my head camera. I'll net them and then I'll change the battery. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Wow. <laughs> They're so strong. This is fish 10 of the day. Pretty epic. Pretty epic. Easy. Man, are they strong. Such a strong fish. This one is controlling me big time right now. Can't wait to hook a, a big one. Actually, this works out perfect on this side of the boat. So my net is, thank you very much, buddy. Thank you very much. Are we gonna be able to net you? I'm gonna net you. Okay, there we go, there we go. Just another 31 inch lake trout. I've caught so many 30 inches today, like between 30 and 33 inches. It's pretty crazy. That's fish 10, so good. See ya. Well, that's super high quality fish. I'm gonna make a few more casts here as the sun's setting. And then I think we will head our way in. No use driving back in the dark for the first, first night. 10 Lakers on what I would consider really tough conditions. Flat, calm, bluebird skies most of the day. A little bit warm for this time of the year. Downsizing to a little swim bait or a smaller swim bait was definitely worth it today. Well, as you can see, the sun is setting. This is like the only camera angle I can get right now where I can actually see into the camera, into the lens. So I will wrap it up here. We had an un unbelievable day. We'll do a tour of the whole lodge and all that stuff when I have better lighting and we'll do it in the next couple videos. I still have three full days to Laker fish. So this was a great start. Put a bunch of Lakers in the boat. And I'm super excited to see what's going to happen. But look at that view. Unbelievable. So thank you so much. And don't forget, get outside.